The following is a production of Learfield Sports. It's football season in Chattanooga, where the mocks are back-to-back -back SoCon champions. We've got men's football players in this room. Caught at the 25, down to the 20, down to the 10, touchdown Chattanooga. Well, I think the fan support part of it is huge, because our fans are phenomenal. Wants to throw, and it is Hicks! Led by head coach Russ Huseman. Come out and play with unbelievable energy today. Play with a chip on your shoulder today. You guys belong. Let's roll. Welcome to Inside Chattanooga Football, hosted by head coach Russ Huseman and the voice of the Chattanooga Mocs, Jim Reynolds. Brought to you by Allegra, 24-hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. By Coca-Cola, Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler. By FSG Bank, proud to be the official bank of Chattanooga Mox Athletics. Welcome to Inside Chattanooga Football. I'm Jim Reynolds, and on the show today, highlights of the Mox conference win over Furman from last weekend. Mox winning 31-3 and keeping the Paladins out of the end zone. A big part in that game, Mox running back Derek Crane. He's our student athlete of the week, so we'll talk to Derek about his three touchdowns and other items coming up on our student athlete of the week. And also, we're going to go in the community with UTC student athletes. What do they do when they're off campus and around the Hamilton County area? That all comes your way in just a moment when Inside Chattanooga Football returns right after this. We celebrate you, loyal UTC fans, who brave sunburn and parking game after game. You super fans who live, eat, and breathe your UTC sports. And you, family of fanatics, passing down your game day traditions. No matter who you are, Mighty Mox, FSG has you covered. Get the exclusive Power C debit card and show your UTC pride. Together, we'll ride the rails to victory. FSG Bank is proud to be the official bank of UTC athletics. This segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is brought to you by FSG Bank. Proud to be the official bank of Chattanooga Mox Athletics. Farman, uh, I think uh, everybody knows they, they got a good football team and we understand we're playing an excellent football team. I think the one thing about them in their record is probably uh, not indicative of how good they are but they have played a monster schedule. Two FBS schools, they, they won one of, one of them against uh, Central Florida. They played Coastal Carolina, who uh, one of the best teams in the country and, and played them really close. I mean, obviously three point game. Um, and then South Carolina State last week, who is very, very athletic and, and, and has a good football team and, and they'll win a lot of games this year. So Furman has played, uh, a very tough schedule. They've come out of it in pretty good shape. I think they're healthy. They're well coached. And, and we understand and we know that if we don't play our best, um, you know, we, we, we won't win this game. They've been playing great defense. Uh, they're physical. Uh, you know, they held South Carolina State to three points. Uh, you know, an FBS school to, I think, they. 15, 12, 15 points, I can't remember. Even the Virginia Tech game at the half, I think that was a, a seven or 10 to nothing game, maybe 14. So they've been playing really good defense. They've, they're, they're athletic on defense. They're pretty physical. So their defense has been carrying them, no question. They're not overly big. They're, you know, they're kind of built like us. I think they're, they're, they run well. Uh, their three linebackers are, are very stout. Uh, physical guys that run well. Um, I think their secondary is is really good too. Um, so, but up front they're not overly, they're not real big, uh, but they're athletic across the board and, and and they just teach them to play physical on defense. They use their hands well. Uh, so they've been 
have been really good so far on defense? Um, what I can remember from last year is they had uh, they had a couple strong guys inside, a couple stout defense alignment. Um, like Coach was saying, though, they're they're really athletic. They can run well. Um, their linebackers have been there for, I think, both of them. Uh, Ryder and Magwood have been there for about three years, so they, they know how to play the game. And uh, they play pretty intense. I, I think you guys know, we know, our players know. To be honest, it means nothing right now. It's, it's a uh, – uh, it probably just means we're three and one and we were ranked pretty decently before the season started. But, you know, if we don't play well and if we don't win football games, I mean, that'll be short lived. And, and, and I know our players understand that. They probably know. I, I, Corey, did you know we're ranked sixth before you walked in this room? How'd you know? Yeah, see, everybody sees everything on Twitter. <laughs> So there's there's no there's no hiding it. We we don't we I mean we don't talk. We're not going to break the huddle today saying number six in the country type of deal. Uh, it's just you know it's we got to play well. We got to play well for the next seven weeks. I know they're good. I think our league's good. I think there's a lot of people in the league that can beat each other. Um, you know I think before it's all said and done, there's going to be a ton of surprises and. Um, I, I, so I, nothing shocks me at all in this league. Um, do I think Furman's one of the better teams in the league? Yes, uh, but uh, I think there's a lot of good teams in the league too. This segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler. Hi, I'm Jeff Wilcox. I'm the Assistant Athletics Director for Marketing and Promotions for UTC Athletics. Mox Week uh, was kind of the culmination of the Hamilton County Department of Education Day for football. We've done it the last two years. And what we do is we partner with Hamilton County and offer all of their elementary schools the opportunity to participate in our ticket fundraiser program. Uh, we offer them discount tickets and they go out and they sell it. They get to keep half of the proceeds for their school. To um, a, lot, a lot of the schools used it for uh, PE or physical education equipment um, that they can't normally get uh, year in and year out from their uh, budget. So as a thank you for them uh, putting in the hard work to uh, help us get more fans to Finley, we offered the opportunity for Moxie player appearance where we would bring two to three student athletes to the elementary school to speak to the students um, about eating right, uh, the, the importance about staying physically fit, and then obviously uh, doing well in the classroom and the benefits of that. You know, the Mox were Superman to them. Uh, we had one girl that I think made my ears bleed when we said that we were going to do autographs after. She just screamed at the top of her lungs. Every time that we can get in the community, it's a win for us. These athletes are blessed and um, paying it forward is the right thing to do and the thing that they need to do. And, and the, the trip back is always a lot of fun from the schools because they sit there and they're talking and all of a sudden the, the, you know, the smiles that were on the kids' faces are now on our student athletes because they, because they had a great time. One, two, three. Go!
It's time for the Student Athlete Spotlight, brought to you by Southeast Bank. Derek Crane, junior, uh, running back for the football team from McDonough, Georgia. Well, me and my dad came up on a visit uh, to the App State game my senior year. Um, and that was my unofficial visit. I had a great time, enjoyed the game atmosphere. I think it was homecoming, so it was at, like a little bit more peppy and was really fun. Um, and then I came up on my official visit and just got to hang out with some of the guys after like dinner and stuff, hanging out with coaches and stuff. So the guys really made me feel at home here, um, hanging around like Sinjin Heron and Corey Levin, some of the guys up here and Kevin Revis who's not here anymore. Uh, those guys really made me feel welcome. And uh, that was one of the big things is how, how I felt just being accepted here that really brought me here. Uh, just really going in week to week, um, getting in behind those front five and really finding some scenes to work with um, and then finding some perimeter running as well. Uh, really one thing for me is just to work on get some longer runs. Um, we kind of had a few that broke out there uh, in this past game. One I think went for 34 so that was really big confidence booster plus now I'm back 100% healthy, so it's good to be back on the field. One of the, one of the new ones that kind of came about was, uh, or one of the ones that's been there is Crane Train. Um, Andrew Horton just kind of added the E to the train, so it's kind of cool to see Crane Train. Uh, that's one of my favorites. Um, and then me and Jacob kind of, uh, we have the Polar Express. Um, it kind of goes for both of us, just kind of like a tag team duo type thing, so that's really cool. I like that one too. This segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is brought to you by Allegra, 24-hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. Tight end lined up in a wing to the right side. Jacob drops back, screen pass complete. Crane gets a block 30, 35, 40. Hit out of bounds around the 41, 42-yard line. And the box do indeed. Two tight ends lined up in the game. Two wide receivers far side. Play action, roll out near side. Jacob avoids the rush. Dumps it off, complete far side, 20. Making a move, 25, down to the 10, down to the five, and inside it goes. Houston goes from the gun on first and goal for Chattanooga. Hand off, Derek Crane. Crane goes left side and into the end zone. Touchdown, Chattanooga. Box get on the board at 12-13 mark for Chattanooga. Hannon rolls out near side. Now he drops it straight back. Still has time. Being rushed and dropped. The Kavian Leslie, the linebacker. That was really a slow to two on the right split backfield. Huseman in the middle. Hands it off to Bagley. Goes wide on the right side. Has the first down and more. Got him by the ankle. He dies forward and picks up yardage to the 30 yard line. The first and goal inside the five. Huseman takes a snap. Derek Crane gets the call. Goes wide outside. Angles toward the end zone and gets in. Touchdown, Chattanooga. The official was right there when Derek Crane tried to tiptoe inside the cone. Gets into the end zone on a five-yard run for Derek Crane, his second TD run of the day. And the Virginia Tech and also here today against the Mox. So they've got to get something going here. An interception, not the way they want this drive to start. And the pick on the far side of the field is going to be run back and in for a pick six. And Chattanooga, just like that, uses its defense to score some points. The yard, box stack up at the line of scrimmage. And off tailback, he's hit. I don't know, second effort, he might have gotten enough. That's a gutsy call right there. He didn't make it, he did not make it. Wow. Doubters, 
<laughs> see if they couldn't get him downhill a little bit quicker. Board Stewart, wide receivers far side. Jacob pulls it out, puts it up in the air. Pass complete, James Stovall. Stovall with his second catch of the day. Skirts the near sideline. Brings this it will be about a 36-yard attempt. 36-yard attempt for Enrique Ribeiro. He's two for two from this range so far this year. Snap, kick, has the distance, and the kick for Ribeiro in the box is good. Time. First down and 10 at the 45-yard line. Reese Hannon, the quarterback, drops back, being rushed, and there you go. Slow developing play. Oh, Keontae Davis got a little bit perturbed at the end of that one. Well. Huseman from the gun, drops back, he'll run it again. He goes wide, gets up to the 40, sidesteps one, 45, far sideline, goes out of bounds. In Furman territory, they'll mark it at the defenders front. on that one wide receiver. First and ten, Furman, handoff near side, trying to go wide and hit again in the backfield. Mox have really pursued again. Two receivers far side, tight end. Fletcher moves in motion. Hannon takes a snap, moves far side and hit and drop by Toivian Brand for a five-yard loss back to the 30-yard line. Third down. Third down and three from the six. Hannon drops back, time up in the air and picked. And he brings it out. I think Samaji Kendall did get that one, picked in the end zone, brought it out to the five. That's one of those, I'm sure everyone's saying, take a knee, take a knee, take a knee for the Mox on their own 29-yard line. And off right up the middle and running room, trying to plow his way to the 40, down to the 35-yard line. A quick hitter, he ran up his own man's back. Yeah. That pass in the end zone. Second and goal from the five. Crane cuts it upfield. Touchdown, Chattanooga. The perfect scenario. And in play action once again, being rushed once again, and it ends with a sack. How about that? Ball game over. Greeting line occurs. We'll be back with more following this timeout. Box win at 31-3. We celebrate you, loyal UTC fans, who brave sunburn and parking game after game. You super fans who live, eat, and breathe your UTC sports. And you, family of fanatics, passing down your game day traditions. No matter who you are, Mighty Mox, FSG has you covered. Get the exclusive Power C debit card and show your UTC pride. Together, we'll ride the rails to victory. FSG Bank is proud to be the official bank of UTC athletics. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup honors the nation's best overall collegiate athletic program in each division, men's and women's sports. The prestigious award continues its reign as the crowning achievement in college athletics. To follow your favorite team, like us on Facebook, find us in USA Today, online, and on Twitter at LS Directors Cup. Over two decades of excellence, the Learfield Sports Directors Cup. Welcome back to Inside Chattanooga Football. I'm Jim Reynolds, along with Mox Head Football Coach Russ Huseman. We both go to the same tailor, by the way. Just talk about the win on Saturday. And give me this. Give me a yes or no. Most complete game of the year? Yeah, um, probably by far. We played good in all three phases. Not great by any stretch of imagination, but we're playing better. I think we're playing better defense. We're doing enough on offense, taking care of the ball like we should. And then special teams have been solid. So... I'd say coming out beating Furman 31 to three is is a, a pretty good day's work. Just controlling the line of scrimmage, both sides, yes. I think so. You know, we ran the ball really well. We we I'm not sure we knocked them off the ball, but we got hats on people and Crane found some seams in there. And then defensively, we're playing uh, pretty good up front. And and you know, when you can get pressure on the quarterback with four four down. Uh, that helps a big uh, a bunch, and we can cover and do some different things coverage-wise. So, and we finally made some plays in the secondary, a couple interceptions by those guys, which was good to see. I was going to say, when your defense can score points, that's a pretty good day, isn't it? Yeah. Well, the two big plays there were obviously the uh, the pick six with uh, Lucas, and then you know when they were down there, it was twenty-four to three game. They're going to make it a two-possession game, and then. We got the pick in the end zone with Samaji, which was huge. And then we, you know, we kept the ball for eight minutes and scored on that one uh, to put it away. But 
um, you know, we need our secondary to play good, and, and, and I think they stepped up pretty good. They only had two interceptions before that game, so two interceptions on the afternoon. Correct me if I'm wrong, that doubles the amount for the year. Well, it it, it doubles. <laughs> it, it I don't know what it does, but the secondary had not won all year. Defensive linemen been getting them. So right. it was good to see our DBs get a couple and, you know, give Coach Braithwaite credit. They, he, you know, he had the, the coverage on um, Lucas's pick dialed up pretty good, and, and Lucas executed just the way we had drawn it up and got the pick. And then Samaji down there on the goal line was playing great coverage. So um, it was good to see those guys do that. I thought the other pivotal play defensively was right before the half when Furman goes for it in the red zone, chance to put points on the board. They opt to go for the fourth down, try to convert instead of kicking a field goal. You guys stuffed them. Big play there. You know, it was a little bit – it was a little bit more than fourth and one, which was good. You know, fourth and one or less is really hard. They're just they're just mashing it up in there, and they got a couple, a third down, and then a fourth down earlier on us on the play, and uh, you know, but you got to about fourth and a yard and a half, a little bit more, and and uh, you feel better about your chances to stop them then. And Isaiah Mack was the one that got to him, right? Oh, I can't remember, to be honest with you. There was just a bunch give them credit. Of, was, just agree with me. There was a bunch of people in on it. Uh, there was a lot of people around it. So, yeah, but Isaiah was in there too. But I thought momentum could could have changed on that play. Yeah, you know, but they still would have had to score, obviously. And and, and I don't think they were in uh, – it wasn't like they were on the four, three, two-yard line. I mean, they were – we had them outside the 10-yard line on that one still. So, you know, we could have kept them out either way. But it was a big play. I think the guys were four for four in the red zone. That's a good afternoon. And we talked a little bit about Derek Crane. He obviously had a good day with three touchdowns and 134 yards. Ran really well, and, and especially on that last drive when we needed it. Uh, you know, we were backed up. We were started that thing on a six-yard line. And, again, when it's 24 to three, you're never comfortable. Uh, you know, it could be 66 to three, and I'm never comfortable. But um, – you know, he had a couple nice runs in there. We, we got some holes for him, so I, I was proud of our offensive line and our offense to, to take that thing and score. He was one of those very complimentary of the offensive line, and, and so was Jacob on the afternoon. Yeah, they did a nice job. I'm, I'm proud of them. Chris Malone's doing a great job with our offensive line. We've got good players there. Uh, it's still a work in progress, but um, they're coming around really well. Headed to Lexington to take on VMI in a Saturday afternoon game. What do you know about the Cadets? They can throw it. Al Cobb, their quarterback, is really, really good. Uh, one of the best players in the league, no question. They've got four or five guys that can catch a football. Um, so anytime, you know, they're going to throw it, and he'll get the ball out of his hands. Uh, last year we, we defended him pretty good, but um, they're playing well on offense. They're putting points on the board. And then defensively, they do so many things on defense that, you know, they'll, they'll make a big play, big play, big play, and, and they're just – uh, a lot of movement, a lot of man coverage stuff. So we got our work cut out for us. And, and, and playing at VMI is really hard. You've been up there. I've been up there many times. Hard place to play and win. Well, it's a nice place, nice place to go when you have a four-game winning streak. I'll say that. Mox and VMI, that's a Saturday afternoon game kickoff at 1.30. We'll have highlights of that game between the Mox and the Key. That's next time on Inside Chattanooga Football. Inside Chattanooga Football has been brought to you by Allegra. 24-hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. By Coca-Cola, Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler. By FSG Bank, proud to be the official bank of Chattanooga Mox Athletics.